Sometimes it could be difficult to figure out how to shoot macro photo or macro video on a Leica because most of the cameras don't come with a macro function straight out of the box. So I'll show examples of how I shoot macro using three different Leica cameras. The first example is the Leica SL2S. Now this camera body does not have a built-in macro function, but you get around this by choosing a lens that is capable of shooting macro. And I have the Apo Macro Elmarit 60mm f2.8 ASPH. It's an extremely well-built lens and still lightweight, and when I put it on the SL2S, it switches the camera into APC mode, so it converts to a 90mm focal length. I can use this as a normal 90mm lens, but then again I can focus extremely close up on an object and produce a macro shot with a 1 to 1 reproduction ratio. So here's a photo just to give you perspective on size. It's a small glass with a pewter medallion. And then I'll bring the camera as close as I can and focus on the New Jersey text. And that's pretty close. So using back button focusing in photo mode, the autofocus locks on pretty quickly. And I put the camera as close as I could until it lost focus. This is without cropping at all. So it gives you a nice close up image. Here's cropping in closer using Final Cut Pro, and even with a 12 megapixel resolution, it still has a nice sharp detail. And here's an establishing shot of my microphone, and I'll bring the camera in closer to focus on the headphones icon. This is as close as I could get with the camera, and with no cropping, the icons are still sharp, and you can even pick up some texture of the microphone. And here's an example where I did not get as close as I actually could, but I got a shot of the whole watch face. And I believe the aperture goes down to 3.4 maximum as I put it on the SL2S. So it's not great for low light photography, but it still has a shallow depth of field where the bottom of the watch is out of focus and the top of the watch is in focus. And cropping in very close in Final Cut Pro, the crown is still sharp and the text lines are still sharp also. And the second option is if you don't have a macro lens, you can purchase this add-on accessory, which will add macro capability onto a non-macro lens. This is the Leica L-Pro, and it's basically just a magnifying lens, which you screw on to the end of the lens to give you macro capability. It works best on 50 millimeter or longer focal lengths. I'm using this on my 75 millimeter Apo Summicron f2.0, and it does come with the step up or step down rings, so it can fit a variety of lens diameters. Here's the closest focus distance for the 75mm Apo Summicron, which is 0.7 meters. And putting on the L Pro, you can get much closer, extremely close, and still have a lot of detail, and still have the bokeh effect. But using the L-Pro on an M lens or shooting wide open, you do get a glowing effect, so you have to stop down to 5.6 when using the L-Pro. And another example using the glass, just notice the big difference between the closest focus distance without the L-Pro and with the L-Pro. So this L-Pro is a nice accessory to have in your camera bag to put on your M lens just in case you need to take a photo of something up close. And the third option for using macro with Leica is maybe the most obvious. It's just using the Q2 in its macro mode. So turning the macro ring uh, to the right puts it in macro mode and it changes the distance scale. And here's an example using a metallic pen case. This is the closest I could come with the Q2 in its normal shooting mode. This is as close as I could get with the Q2 in the macro mode. It is closer but not extremely close. Not as close as the 60mm Apo Macro Elmarit TL on the SL2S. And still the image is very clean and very sharp. And another example of the Q2, 
with the closest focus distancing in the normal mode and now in the macro mode. But the kicker is, and I saved the best for last, is you can actually use the Alpro on the Q2. If you have a filter on the Q2, you have to remove that first, but then it fits perfectly on the end of the 28mm Sumilex lens. And it just gives you a little extra boost of macro. Going back to the samples, here's the Q2 in macro mode without the Alpro, and in macro mode with the Alpro. It did seem to change the color profile of the photo, and it also added on some severe vignetting. Another example of the Q2 in macro mode without the L-Pro, and macro mode with the L-Pro. So there's just three options of getting macro shots from your Leica, using the SL2S with a macro lens, using the M11 and a telephoto M lens, with the L-Pro attached, using the Q2 in macro mode, or using the Q2 in macro mode with the L-Pro. And there is another option, which is the macro adapter M, and this actually sits in between the lens and the camera body, and it gives you the macro capability on the M body. Uh, but these are pricey and they're always sold out. So which is the best option for macro on the Leica system? My favorite is actually using the Q2 in macro mode with the L-Pro. The Q2 is so simple to use. It's so portable, so you can take it almost anywhere. It has a high resolution 47 megapixel sensor, and the lens is super sharp. And as a bonus, the Q2 does a great job with video also, and you can crop in with video because it has that 47 megapixel sensor. This B-roll was all shot on the Q2, with cropping done afterwards. Now that I have the Q2 with the L-Pro, I'm questioning whether I really need to keep the SL2S for the video function. The video quality on the Q2 already comes close to the SL2S, and then when I upgrade to the Q2, that will be able to shoot in L-Log. It still won't have focus follow like the SL2S, and it won't have the ability to plug in an external microphone. But I hardly use an external microphone anyway, and the Q2 is much more portable than the SL2S. Let me know in the comments if the Q3 would be able to take over the video functioning of the SL2S.